Um, I'm Pat Ewer, wife of Glenn Ewer, uh, the artist and uh, the person who founded Glenn Ewer's Ghost Fleet Gallery. Um, I was and continue to be the gallery wife at the gallery. Uh, Glenn Ewer um, came to the Oda Banks um, as a volunteer artist in the park for the park service when he was a student at East Carolina University. Um, he was an unusual student there because he had just retired from the Army. When he graduated with his bachelor's degree from East Carolina with a major in printmaking and minors in painting and sculpture, uh, he settled on the Oda Banks in um, the early 70s, opened a small gallery of his work in one of the little shopping centers. Um, and that's where I met him. Um, I was from Virginia, but I always vacationed on the Outer Banks, partly because it was a nice arts environment and I loved the arts. So I came in the gallery uh, the first year that Glen Ura opened it. Um, he said, will you marry me? And I thought he was crazy. He was, and four years later I did. Uh, some of the interest uh, for me in this plate is the shape of it, actually. Um, he did a lot of cutting. Colograph comes from a Greek word meaning to cut. He done a lot of uh, cutting of this uh, background, which is from Matt Board. Um, and um, so you get a lot of negative areas, and I think in any work of art, it's the negative areas that lend another element of interest to it. See it in reference to an anonymous poem called Fiddler's Green, which is about a legendary place where old soldiers go, where there's always mirth, there's, it's canteen-like, um, and um, it's sort of a legendary paradise for old soldiers. But the process of the colograph is intriguing. First, you ink the plate. When you have a colograph, you have a lot of really subtle surfaces. Uh, but this is it depositing the ink in the deepest parts with tarlatan, which is a kind of starch uh, cheesecloth. You wipe off the surface preparing that surface to receive another color. And the way that's done is with a brayer. This is a large plate, so the brayer has to be, have circumference enough to roll over the whole plate without stopping. When it, the roller is ready for the rollover, then the ink will be a thin layer that's solid. I think Glen Ewer's favorites were the ones where he could just explore abstract possibilities so that uh, people who've written about his work with the Colograph um, say that he kind of went back to the origins of it. Um, I always loved it when Glen Ewer was working in the printmaking studio because you need an assistant um, and I was good at, this, at assisting, um, working with the paper, handing things, um, and I just enjoyed so much um, seeing him work with that and experiencing, I felt like I experienced some of it with him.